Now, lack of clean water continues to be a major concern in the country. Certain areas are struggling to get access to fresh water. Some experts claim our water infrastructure is aging and needs to be maintained more regularly. To discuss this situation further, to give us some insights and maybe explore some possible solutions, I'm joined by Hulisani Korombi from Blue Water Technologies. Hulisani, good afternoon. Welcome to today and thank you very much for your time and thank you for your patience while we were live in Pretoria with uh, Spamanda Goke. Now, fresh water, I mean, is an important commodity. It's, 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 water is life. And we are battling in the country currently, various areas, access to water is becoming a major problem. In your view, what are the main contributing factors? I think you are muted, uh, Hulisani. Can you unmute yourself? Sorry about that, Raden. There we go. We got you now. We got you now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Braden. Um, Braden, in my view, um, the most contributing factors to um, lack of uh, access to fresh water, it's due to increased in population growth and industrial and agricultural activities. You know, as you know, most of these water treatment plants were built many years ago, and they were they were built they were designed to cater for a certain number of of, 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 of people or industry industrial activities. And now, with increase in population growth there's obviously um, not enough water to meet the demand. The other factors is that um, we've, we haven't had much rain in most, most parts of South Africa recently. This also puts a, um, a strain on the, on the available water supply because, um, as you know, South Africa relies mostly on rain or in the natural um, um, catchment to actually supply clean water to, um, to the communities. Yeah, so we didn't plan for increased demand. No, I think um, proper planning or forecasting was not done diligently. Had this been done, I think um, we've been seeing the red flags, you know, with the increase in population and industrial activities. I think with proper maintenance plan and having the right people at the right places, um, we would have planned and actually started building these infrastructures or at least starting to maintain uh, the, 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 the water infrastructures uh, many years ago. But uh, the way things are going now, we are, we are heading for, 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 for a serious crisis. Yeah, we're heading for disaster, some experts are saying, particularly because we are now faced with climate change. We can see the effects of, uh, of climate change already. And also, we are as a water-scarce country naturally. Yes, but then uh, we are a water scarce um, country naturally. Um, what we've seen um, in, in, in my experience is that most people are even resorting to boreholes, you know, because most municipalities are struggling to actually um, um, supply adequate water to the communities. And the problem now, it, 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 it opens up other issues such as quality now. Um, the, this borehole water, it's also not... Um, ready to readily uh, it's not it, it's not like it's ready to be used you know it needs some sort of treatment before it can or it can be used yeah so just just uh, drilling a borehole and getting water out is not the only thing you need to do you have to make sure that water would be portable enough and be safe and be safe to drink so so besides this some people are looking at boreholes even now uh, my colleague Bafidile Muran is speaking to the mayor of CD Bain uh, in um, uh, 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 in, uh, in Mudibeng's rather in Madibeng in Northwest Province, saying that they are now thinking as the municipal to, to to drill boreholes for people. I mean, what other possible solutions are there, Hulisani, in your view, in terms of making sure that our people get access to clean, safe, and fresh water as much as possible? Yeah, Braden, unfortunately, uh, we don't have much options, but um, desalination is also um, one of the solutions, getting water directly from the ocean. But it, it's very expensive and um, it needs innovative and complicated um, 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 so, uh, treatment um, processes to be able to make that water um, portable enough to be used. Um, other solutions is maintenance of the current infrastructure, like um, avoiding leaks, um, there's a lot of leaks in most of the um, uh, in infrastructure, which we lose. Uh, we lose a lot of water. There's also an issue of um, 
So there, there, there's leaks from the in infrastructure and, um, and and also we can consider desalination of, um, of, of water and also water reuse and also using water sparingly. Those are the only options in my view that we can actually employ to sort of like mitigate this um, these water shortages. Thank you very much, uh, Hulisani Korombi. Dolebu Angamanda, she's of course the boss there at Blue Water Technologies.